Sometimes it seems that nothing can go wrong. You have everything that your heart could ever want. And one day your world well, it turns upside down. We found out there was an initial issue uh, at 16 weeks. Say there's no way this could be true. You search for more opinions till your face turns blue. You tell yourself that the worst is already come. The most uh, uh, trying time that I think I've ever been through in my life. Scream out to God that this thing isn't right. It wasn't supposed to happen, no, not tonight. Your worry turns to anger, anger turns to fear. But it's raw and it's real, and I can't just unfeel all the pain that has entered my soul. So I trust in the God who makes beauty from scars. This is I'm never alone, I'm never alone. How else can we be a help? How else can we turn something that's so negative, you know, as death is, into something that's positive? Help me understand your heart and your mind. Remember that your plans, they may not be mine, but your plans are always the right ones for me. So trust in the Lord, He will carry you. He'll rise upon His wings, He'll help you get through. Today is not tomorrow, but soon it will be yesterday. to be home well, It's raw and it's real And I can't just unfeel All the pain that has entered my soul But I trust in the God Who makes beauty from scars And promises I'm never alone Well, it's raw and it's real and I can't just unfeel all the pain that has entered my soul. And so I trust in the God who makes beauty from scars. The promises are never alone. I'm never alone. I'm never alone. You want to hear you? We gotta say happy birthday. Ready? Like Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Harrison. Happy birthday to you. Yay! 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 <laughs> okay, we gotta let it go, Bryson. Good job, Bryson. Yeah. 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 Uh, Trust me, 18 is where the child has an extra 18 chromosome and uh, many times unfortunately it's not compatible with life. Uh, it's more prevalent in males than it is females and so she said we're gonna run a few more tests and the results will come back in you know later in the week or the next week. So I remember very vividly where I was. I was mowing the grass outside when I got a phone call from a from a foreign number I uh, stopped mowing and they identified who they were, you know, from the children's hospital. And they said, they said that it was positive that, that he had trisomy 18. When we found out, we kind of already knew what the inconsequence more than likely would because uh, the doctors had said that roughly 
90% of children won't make it even to, uh, to birth. And then from there, uh, another 50% from of that remaining 10% would pass within the first month. And it was rough. <laughs> it's really, really rough. Um, well, I started the blog exactly a week before he passed because I had no idea he would pass early. And from there, the blog kind of blew up from, the, you know, basically I, I wrote a post the night that she had given birth and everything. And, and little to my knowledge that that day alone, it would be, our blog would be viewed 12,000 times in one day. And it, it was just unbelievably crazy to see the power of, of God and, and how he can give somebody a voice that can go from no platform to having a platform where you're reaching 12,000 people in one day many of which you've never, ever met in your life. So once we saw the power of the blog and, and how God was giving us a platform, you know, we said, what else can we do? You know, how else can we be a help? How else can we turn something that's so negative, you know, as death is, into something that's positive and uplifting not only to God but to our son and, and be a good uh memory of them and you know our family they love to run um you know my dad's done a ton of marathons half marathons 5k 10k any kind of k or marathon he's there and and my family has done much the same you know brother and sister and mom have all really gotten into it and so we decided that doing a race would be uh would be perfect uh, it'd be a perfect way to honor harrison um it would be a perfect way to try and raise money to help other families. So that's why we decided to do a race. Um, how did we feel when, when we saw all those people today? I was blown away. I was overwhelmed, very overwhelmed. We, when we first started talking... When we first started talking about doing a race, um, I had zero experience planning this. I've run you know, a handful of them. My dad's had zero experience doing uh, any kind of coordinating efforts. And so we were, we were setting our sights low. We expected about, what, 150 people? 100, 150, you know, mainly <laughs> family and friends who would come out and support us. And when... When I saw how many people were coming out today, especially people I had no idea who they mm -hmm. were, it was just incredible. Uh, you know, I think that when all said and done, we, we had close to 500 people. <laughs> and that's unbelievable for a first-year race. 
It's an amazing thing how something that tragic, God can turn into something beautiful. And that's really what happened. Well, it's been about, about a year ago now that uh, uh, Harrison uh, James was born. And um, uh, I'm the grandfather. And uh, my wife and I and uh, the other two grandparents were at the, the hospital room when that happened. And the baby uh, uh, was stillborn. And it was probably the most uh, trying time that I think I've ever been through in my life. And of course, my daughter's pregnant again, and she's due um, June 24th. So, um, brand new baby, and uh, new life, and we're, it seems like everything's okay this time, and uh, so we're happy with that too. So, um, just thankful, just thankful about the whole thing. So I still get emails, texts, Facebook messages, whatever, saying, hey, you know, my son or my daughter was just diagnosed with trisomy 18 or we just experienced the loss or this or that and we stumbled on your blog, we stumbled on your story and we just want to tell you how proud we are of you or we just want to tell you that what we read has really kind of changed our outlook. It, it, there's no greater joy for me, really. Like, it makes really, everything we went through worth it. Yes, it does. Because we know where our son's at. We, we are completely confident that one day we're going to see him again. Uh, am I mad that, that you know, God gave us a chance for Harrison and then took it away? I'm not. I was at first, but I'm not. Because sometimes when you step back, take a step back and look at what happened, if I could trade you know, my son's life with the guarantee that he's going to be in heaven, which I have that guarantee, I know he's in heaven, for the chance for other people who haven't met Christ yet, I'll take that a hundred times out of a hundred. Because at the end of the day, as a parent, your goal is to see your children in heaven if you believe. And we're one for one right now. We're, we're batting a hundred or a thousand or whatever you want to say. And we hope that we can, we can be half as good a parents to Marshall too. Yeah. What I would like to say is simply thank you. If you're watching this, there's a good chance you've seen our story somewhere, whether you came to the race, you've been following our blog, you, Facebook, Twitter, whether you're down in Virginia or where I'm stationed at. It, across the world, I just want to say thank you. Like, We could not have done what we've done without the support of our family, of our friends, of acquaintances, of random strangers who we've met along the way. It, it just wouldn't be, it wouldn't have been possible. Yeah.